first met Rex in 1995, and from the first time I played with him and met him, a terrifically fantastic gentleman, a consummate musician, phenomenal guitarist with that beautiful high tenor voice of his. And I can, I can sincerely say that Rex was the first one to go to bat for you as a music director. He was the first one to do that, and he was always a peacemaker. That was the biggest thing about Rex that I loved. time I met Rex was at Beach Church and I immediately realized what an incredible musician and vocalist he was and uh, that was about 10 years ago uh, over those years uh, we've done several projects together and I came to know who Rex really was which was a dedicated man of God a dedicated husband father and a son um, it was shocking news when Tom sent the uh, text to us all, but um, anyway, uh, we love you, Rex. Uh, we know where you are, and uh, most importantly, this room is probably filled with people that you touch your lives on a daily basis. Rest in peace, my friend. Rex meant a lot to me. He was one of my first uh, inspirations playing guitar. Um, he was just an older guy that I could look up to. Um, super seasoned, but but just as uh, generous, you know. Yeah, I know he gave you a lot of stuff and mm -hmm. gave you lessons. And I mean, I'm telling you, that man, it was so generous. If I, I had a computer problem, he would take care of it. Um, one of the things I wanted to say, though, that I loved about Rex is that he always, always took the time to tell anybody who would listen how amazing his wife Debbie was and how she had beaten cancer twice. And he was just so proud of her. And I just, I just loved um, the kind of husband that he was to Debbie. We loved Rex, he was our friend, and we're gonna miss him. I just know that I've uh, I've known Rex for a good part of 15 years now. I worked for, with him at Tribute and uh, here at the Opry, and uh, you know I he couldn't know a better guy. I mean he was a he was just a heck of a player, a uh, heck of an individual, and uh, you know he, he's going to be missed a lot. I'm a, I'm going to miss him a lot. for 26 years mm -hmm. and off and on played with him in one way or another and what, what I've come oh, to know about Rex is friendship was everything to him you know absolutely man. you could ask him for anything it wouldn't make you feel guilty about it he would he would instead, willing to help yeah yeah, yeah and, and make you feel special you know and, and that's what it was you were special to him your his friends were special to him absolutely man uh, I mean I, I met Rex in 1990 and we were all younger then and mm -hmm having fun as young people do in life and definitely seeing him grow uh, spiritually from those days and I watched him grow all the way to where he is now. It was a good change 
Absolutely. Yeah. Inspiration. Yeah, inspirational to all of us. I always enjoyed being around Rex. It always seemed like he was smiling and having fun. I, I never got to know him as well as some of my other musician friends, but I could always tell the, the esteem that, that they held him in. Great guy, great player. I admired him a lot. It was great standing next to him on the Myrtle Beach Opry stage. He was one of the first ones to give me a open, well, welcome me with open arms, and uh, he was so nice to everybody. You know, we all miss you, Rex, and uh, we'll be seeing you in heaven really soon. I know you're enjoying it up there. I can't wait to get there and see all the new guitars you got. Love you, brother. See you soon. Thanks. Dad um, always told me that uh, a great guitar player knows when not to play. He can play, but he knows when not to play. And um, and Rex was one of those guys. Every note that he ever played on a guitar had purpose and had meaning. And he always complimented uh, the singer when the singer was uh, was out there and singing. In fact, one of my favorite memories uh, of uh, of Rex uh, was during a sound check uh, at the Vatican in Rome, Italy. We were over there um, performing for the, the Pope and the Cardinals and the Bishops and all the dignitaries that had gathered there for this huge Independence Day celebration for the United States of America, uh, for the Ambassador to the Holy See. And, and, and Rex and, and I and Tom Garber were on stage there together for the sound check. And, and Rex was looking around and we had the, the Vatican Dome and the, right over our shoulders. And, uh, and, and Rex looked at me and he said, man, I can't believe, I can't believe it. And, and I said, what? He said, I just can't believe a bunch of country guys are out here on the stage here entertaining uh, at the Vatican. And, um, and I started looking around and I said, I can't believe it. And he said, what? I said, I can't believe I'm on stage with Rex Blancet. And, and he got a big kick out of that. It was always a treat to share a stage with a guy that was so humble, so confident in what he was doing um, but he was always so humble and always willing to teach others and, and share what he knew with other people on stage. Um, I'm certainly going to miss him as I know that so many, um, that so many are. My prayers today, especially for, um, for, for Rex's family and, and all of his friends that have gathered here, knowing that Rex, uh, Rex was very confident of where he was headed uh, after he left this earth. And he's there now. Um, and, I, and I do find comfort in knowing that we have a living God and that he's never gone back on one of his promises and that Rex is getting to see that promise come true today. Mm -hmm.